What's up, everybody? Alex here, a.k.a. Soldier First Class, uh, and today we've got some Final Fantasy 16 news, and it's awesome news because they're actually detailing the Final Fantasy mode, which is this game's version of hard mode, and I'm extremely excited for this because I've recently marathoned all of the Soulsborne games, from Demon Souls to Elden Ring, and difficulty in games has been something that I've really been embracing lately. So let's get right into this. Final Fantasy XVI director Hiroshi Takai and Ryota Suzuki, the combat director, just got on IGN and discussed the Final Fantasy mode for Final Fantasy XVI. Now, I'm extremely excited for this, like I said before, so let's dive into the details. Basically, what is going on is that Final Fantasy mode is a New Game Plus mode that you'll unlock once you've beaten the game. You'll take all your levels, all your abilities, everything you've unlocked to that point, is going to go with you into your new game plus. So I think like we saw with Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, we're gonna have a level cap of 50 for the base game because in the menu right there where it's talking about Final Fantasy mode, it does say that it ups the level cap to 100. So I'm gonna assume that we probably run through this game till level 50. But instead of this being a new game plus where they just uptick the health or they, they do a lot of artificial difficulty, the way this is going to work is that they will replace enemies and bosses that you would normally fight with much harder versions, but also different enemies. So there was one where they show where it's a it's a wyvern that you come up to, or in the in the screenshot or whatever, it was an Aegis. Well, now it's going to be a Chimera, and you're actually going to have to account for the different abilities that a Chimera would throw at you. It's physical attacks, it's ice attacks. All of the different attacks that it would throw at you are now what you have to adjust to, to. And not only that, but like, you will have to adjust to how hard they hit, because this isn't going to be a base game difficulty. Another one they showed is that you're coming up on a walkway slash bridge type thing, and normally in that moment you would be fighting a bunch of soldiers and an axe wielding soldier that's much bigger. Well, now you're actually going to be facing an Iron Giant, and I don't know which one it was, but one of them in the subtitles said that they liked that they were using an Iron Giant because it is a, a staple of Final Fantasy, they felt, and that it dates all the way back to Final Fantasy II. And so I think it's really cool that they're doing these little details like that where the gameplay is the same, but the game gets harder, and it's not just artificial. There's new things, there's new mechanics, there's new everything. So it's really nice to see that instead of just phoning it in with their hard mode, they're actually making it cool for people that want to play these modes, but don't necessarily have to. But if you do, you'll enjoy something different. It's it's kind of like, to me, um, the, the dungeons and stuff in 14 where you have the hard mode, uh, the raids where you have the savage mode where there are different, like the, the, 12th raid of a series will have like a different cutscene and stuff at the end as opposed to like what it would normally um, and then there's like ultimates and stuff like that so it kind of feels like this is how it's going to be uh, they also said in one of the in the menu it said that the weapon ultima will be available to craft so I don't know what's going to go into that but I think that's really really awesome that they're doing so I just wanted to do this quick video to give you guys the news about the hard mode if you hadn't seen it. Uh, I'm Alex, aka Soldier First Class. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video if you've liked what you've seen today. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.